Our next awardee's accomplishments and community endeavors are extensive. Asa Singh Johol has humble beginnings which began in Punjab, India. After immigrating to British Columbia at a young age, Asa Singh began to work in various labor jobs. The community was really small. There was only about 1,200 people here uh, when the Second World War started. And uh, most of them were working in the sawmills. And the East Indians, the Orientals, they got less money. Like when I first started working, I was 14, and I, I was getting 25 cents an hour because I was underage. You know, you couldn't get a key job. Uh, normally, you just uh, was more labor work. Eventually, his interest in the sawmill industry would lead to him not only becoming president of his own company, Terminal Sawmills and Terminal Planner Mills, but also being viewed as one of the most successful entrepreneurs in British Columbia. Currently, he has over 500 employees in North America, some who have worked for him for over 30 years. I have uh, 500 employees, and I, some have been with me for 30 years, and they've been a key to running this company. Starting from a wage of 25 cents an hour, Asa Singh's net worth is now measured in hundreds of millions but he still maintains a humble view and emphasizes that his goals are not about being big. At the age of 89 years old, he shows no signs of slowing down. In fact, time has not lessened his spirit of endeavor and enthusiasm. Well, I get up uh, for 15, I like, uh, leave the house about 5.30 and I have a plant in the U.S., so it takes me an hour to get there, so I'm there about 6.30, and I stay there, oh, about an hour and a half, two hours, then I head back here, and then I have a plant on Mitchell Island, my head office, so I stay there maybe two hours, and then I have another plant on the Fraser River, I go down there maybe an hour, and then I come home. Asa believes his focus has led to a success. He notes, I picked up one line of business and stuck to it. I never thought of another line of business, even when I encountered hardships initially. Success came after continuous perseverance, courage, and strong belief in the business I worked for. When he is not working, he can be found expanding his knowledge with financial and world news and is passionate about reading. Asa Singh was awarded the BC Order of Canada. In addition to his successful professional career, Asa Singh has devoted his life to community involvement, which has included ventures such as being president of the International Punjab Society of BC, funding programs in the Asian Studies Department and Forestry Departments of UBC, endowing grants for teacher assistantships in Punjabi and Sikh studies at UBC, donating to the Children's Hospital, organizing and funding a project to translate the City Guru Granth Sahib Ji in English, as well as providing assistance to blind children in Calcutta and Bombay. And in addition, he serves as Director of the Council of Forest Industries of BC and is also a former member on the Board of Governors at UBC.